Hey, how are you guys? Yeah, sadly, this is a video why I sell this beauty of a Pinskauer 718K shortly after I bought it. Yeah, let me start. I, I never intended to purchase a Pinskauer. I uh, sold my Defender, needed a bigger touring vehicle or a vehicle where I have a bit more space in the back for the kids because with my Recaro seat in the back there's just not much space really for the kids. Uh, actually, especially behind the driver's seat, I, I probably have three centimeters space for my daughter. While she was little that was all right but uh, they are too big now they don't put up with it anymore and uh, understand why so hence I sold the Defender then I looked at, at several alternatives and by chance I came across the Pinskauer I've really never heard about that car much before and it was absolutely not on my radar at the time I couldn't really drive it because it just was imported into Australia it had it wasn't registered I had a quick look at it and I loved it. I loved the space, I loved what I could do with it. However, when also sitting in it, I was concerned about my seating position. But nevertheless, um, I decided to purchase it, get it engineered, take it out for a little bit and see how I go. It is now engineered, it is registered and I have taken it out. And I'm pleasantly surprised actually how well it drives because I heard quite a bit of feedback from people with uh, the 710 and 712 uh, with the older air-cooled uh, petrol version from people who drive them and yeah they are awesome cars they are awesome off-road but they are not the most civilized cars uh, supposedly you really need earmuffs to um, drive the air-cooled version so I was pretty much uh, yeah prepared for some more uh, for more noisier car and so on but was very pleasantly surprised uh, also I think the the petrol air-cooled version is not going much faster than 80 I had this one out now and pretty much uh, yeah got it up to 110 where it struggles a bit but it sits very comfortably on on 95 to 100 fuel consumption also not too bad I drove it up to Tagra uh, to Greg's workshop and I was sitting around 70 liters again with some stints of 110, 100 and quite a few hills up and down so overall also great okay but let me come to the point why do I sell it there are a couple of things which are just not negotiable for me I have a crooked knees and I have a pretty bad back so all my cars except of tiny really because it just doesn't fit in there have um, Recaro seats in it um, and I have sufficient foot space so tiny I drive for a day I spend half of the time out of the truck uh, walking the tracks anyway so I can live with that but I feel that after a day so Big Red would be my touring vehicle that means I would drive up to the Cape uh, with it I go through the Simpson Desert with it I may sit 
three days in a row in that car for nine, 10, 11, sometimes even more hours, straight driving just to get to places. After driving it now for two days, I realized as much as I love that car, and I really do, <laughs> I mean, there are so many absolutely awesome things on that car. Um, I love how it drives uh, and I haven't taken it off-road so that is really just on-road. Um, yeah, I love how it behaves, the noise, I don't think it's much noisier than the Defender really. Um, the space in the rear, I mean it's a an, it's an plain canvas, I, there are so many options uh, um, to do something with it, I just can't compromise on the seating position. And already sitting in there now i pretty much if i sit in the in the most comfortable position my head touches the roof uh, i could lower that slightly um, but probably only by an inch or so that is on the road there's no bouncing you know but i haven't got my recaro in the recaro is quite a bit higher overall than the seat so i just could not see sit really in a, in a in a comfortable position number one the foot space in a way it is fairly comfortable actually because you sit like in a truck similar to the defender but the difference to the defender is that at the bottom there is no space in a defender i can stretch my legs a little bit while driving i can put them into a different position i also have fairly big feet the pedals in this beast here are so close together that with my shoe size I pretty much have to be very careful not uh, hitting the wrong pedal and there is no way to stretch my leg or move it in any other position really but the, it sits how it sits and that's where it has to sit until you jump out of the car unfortunately if I gonna do three four big trips a year which I usually do it's just not doable for me so in an ideal world I had a big shed too much money which I don't and I would just keep this in the shed and use it for weekend trips, two, three days, you know, I probably could do, uh, especially if it's camping and not really driving eight, nine hours. And I'd love to do that, but I can't. I don't have a big shed. I don't have space for more of the two four wheel drives I have. And uh, I pretty much need a vehicle I, I can tour with three, four, five weeks without having any issue and sitting in a good seating position. So that is sadly why I'm selling this. And I can honestly say, even in that short time, it is an absolutely awesome vehicle. And I just wished they would have to have taken into account a little bit taller drivers and people with bigger feet, 46 my shoe size. So it's a yeah, reasonable, good size. Okay guys, that is sadly why I'm selling the vehicle.